Hi, it's Ayman. Today I would like to share with you my thoughts about agile management and the strategy of digital transformation. And I will be doing this with the help of my trusted assistant, Z. I got introduced to the concept of dynamic capabilities, which I consider to be part of the agile management family in 2018, while I was doing my online course on a blockchain strategy with the University of Oxford. And I found a tremendous value in this concept, especially for those who are interested in the strategy of digital transformation and the imminent impact of new technologies such as IoT, AI, blockchain technology, digital currencies, automation and robotics, or drones and augmented reality, and so on. The impact of these new technologies on enterprises, specifically on how we create, capture, and transfer value. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a lot of debate on the public sphere around this topic by management practitioners, uh, entrepreneurial gurus, or C-level executives. In other words, the concept hasn't become a buzzword and attracted enough attention around it yet. However, and this is where my hypothesis lies, if you look closely at the tech giants, you will notice that they follow the philosophy or the principles of dynamic capabilities. And in this way, of course, in addition or in combination with other factors, they have managed to set themselves apart from the rest of the industry and to progress by leaps and bounds. Without any further ado, what is meant by dynamic capabilities? In 1997, Professor David Teese defined dynamic capabilities as the firm's ability to build, integrate, and reconfigure internal and or external capabilities or competencies to address rapidly changing environment. And for that reason, he divided dynamic capabilities into two levels. The first level, the operational level or the base level is the operations and ordinary dynamic capabilities, uh, daily activities or routine activities, administration, and all these processes that allow a company to pursue its production and services or projects, and hopefully in an efficient manner. At a higher level, he identified three main dynamic capabilities. Actually, he divided the higher level into two levels, but for the sake of brevity, I will be talking only about the higher level of these two uh, levels at the top. And he called that the higher order dynamic capabilities. And there, as I said, he identified three main dynamic capabilities, which I will be talking about now with the help of my assistant. She's, she's been waiting for me. So let's go and have a look what she has prepared for us. So the first dynamic capabilities is called sensing. And this is a rabbit. Oops, I'm sorry, Z. The second one is seizing. And the third dynamic capability is transforming. So let's just start with sensing. Sensing includes all processes that help an organization collect or capture and analyze market data to learn about customers, competitors, and channel members. It is, it is about data intelligence and analysis. And most importantly, it is about helping the company to identify opportunities in the market as well as threats. And if I want to give an example about a case where a company failed to sense the market, it's a very famous example of Nokia when they failed to sense the opportunity in smartphones markets and up to now they are out of the market. The second one, which is seizing, relates to addressing sensed opportunities through developing new products, processes, services, or technologies. Therefore, seizing typically 
involves increased research and development activities or experimentation and we see that clearly i'm sorry about the insects but i'm, I'm in the forest in the woods we can see this clearly the experimentation part of seizing around augmented reality and uh, virtual reality drones and autonomous vehicles for example while the third one which is transforming and these are not linear um, linear dynamic capabilities even though I have them like this but it doesn't mean that we move from one to two to three in a linear way so transforming is about aligning existing capabilities or investing in new capabilities it is also about how and here I need before I say how I need uh, Z to help me to call the guys come on Z please call the guys yeah thank you so much so this is Heather and this is Abdul and this is Z of course so as I said about transforming it's about how entrepreneurial managers and these are entrepreneurial managers recombine and reconfigure assets and organizational structures to match the seized opportunities it may thus involve acquisitions of new projects projects sorry merger and merger this is a boat because when you merge with a company you are uh, on the same boat with the company or it may involve spin-offs and there's there's a fourth type also it's about uh, the business model reconfiguring the business model which is sometimes highly unlikely to happen but these are the common ones and then here i will come back to my my uh, hypothesis about how tech giants are following the philosophy of dynamic capabilities by looking at this setting exactly and i will take an example of facebook and basically uh, from an industry that I know really well, which is the blockchain technology and the digital currencies. So Facebook has acquired more than 85 companies or startups in the last five years. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg says that we don't acquire companies, we acquire entrepreneurial culture and entrepreneurial managers like these guys here. And also others maybe you would like go and and look at uh, for example like elon musk uh, tesla and then spacex also as an example of how dynamic capabilities are really taken seriously by these uh, tech giants but i'm here focusing on facebook so in this way i would say that sensing facebook has sensed the market in a blockchain technology there is an opportunity a big opportunity in a blockchain technology and digital currencies for that reason and for seizing the opportunity they developed a new product which they called the Libra digital currency thirdly as I said they have bought and they have merged around 85 companies and they acquired a new dynamic capabilities they acquired the new capabilities and talents And as Mark Zuckerberg points out that it is about acquiring entrepreneurial managers. So with the transforming, instead of creating a new business model, they created spin-offs. And a clear example here is the spin-off of Calibra Consortium to lead the Libra digital currency project. So this is a clear example which supports my hypothesis about how these, these uh, tech giants follow the dynamic capabilities philosophy. So back again to talk about uh, business models. Dynamic capabilities are needed to design and implement business models. Actually, Tease says that a successful business model is the result of strong dynamic capabilities which are idiosyncratic characteristics of entrepreneurial managers and those rooted in the culture of the organization he describes these strong dynamic capabilities as imperfectly imitable so 
not every dog can do the same tricks. And this, of course, takes us to another area, such as digital rights, patents, and IPs, which are outside the remit or the scope of this video. Thies believes that an enterprise with strong dynamic capabilities, these strong dynamic capabilities, will foster a culture of innovation and organizational flexibility. With them, i.e. the dynamic capabilities, strong dynamic capabilities, a company can bring about internal changes and also external changes to the environment. And we see this clearly. We see this clearly with Apple and what is Apple doing with smartphones, iPod, iPads, and etc. So the last word, dynamic capabilities require that you as a manager, you as a manager, to infuse this entrepreneurial culture throughout the organization. In Thies's words, everyone, and he means every member of the staff, feels that he or she has not only the right, but the obligation to seek out new opportunities and to make them happen. So I hope you find this interesting. If you do really find it interesting, please go on and dig deeper into this topic because you can take your company to the next level. Thank you and bye for now.